Hello guys, in this video, I'll be discussing with you the opportunities that are available after the GATE examination. As we all know, GATE is a well-known examination in Indian country. And so, it is well-known exam only because there are a lot of opportunities that are available after the GATE examination. Many of you might not be aware of most of the opportunities that are available. So, this video will serve as an awareness campaign to make you aware of the opportunities after GATE. So here if you see, I have listed down some of the opportunities that are available after GATE, like MTech program, PSUs are recruiting through GATE, MS you can follow in the uh, foreign universities, you can go for PhD, you can go for fellowship program in management, you can also go for MBA and TG. So we will be discussing each point in detail one by one. So let us start with MTech. So basically, GATE is used as a screening exam for the MTech admissions. That is, it is the only written exam that is followed for admission to the MTech program. Now, as per the MHRD guidelines, the weightage given to the GATE is 70%. That means, rest of the 30% is attributed to written examination conducted by different IITs or personal interviews that are being conducted in the IITs. So you can go for MTech program in premier institutes like IITs and NITs. IASC Bangalore, such sort of institutes you can get admitted in so that you have a brighter future. Next thing is that there are many industry oriented programs also available in IITs like IIT Delhi and IIT Madras conduct the program in association with the in association with the electronics industries like Texas Instruments and all where you are admitted once you are admitted and you call are above a certain pointer, then you will be admitted to that company after the completion of MTech. You will be directly getting a job in that company after the completion of MTech so that you know your future is secured once you maintain a minimum performance criteria. Such sort of courses are also available and those are much more beneficial than directly simple MTech. So those sort of courses are also opening to gate only. Also, during the MTech, you will be getting a stipend of around 12,000 per month so that you can meet your basic expenses. Other than that, there is one institute called as Indian Statistical Institute which offers MTech program in computer science through GATE also. Okay? So you can switch to computer science once you complete an MTech. As we all know, computer science has a lot of scope and a lot of opportunities in the software domain. Next point if we come to the PSUs that are recruiting through GATE. There are almost 23 PSUs that are recruiting through GATE and they consider GATE as their preliminary examination. That is, the only written examination conducted for those PSUs is GATE. Okay? So, other than the written examination, they conduct GD and the personal interviews for recruitment, but GATE is given around 80 to 85 percent weightage in the recruitment procedure. So you know, if you are performing well in GATE, then you are almost sure of your selection in the PSEs. Regardless of how does the, how do you fare in your GD and PI, because GD and PI do not have very high weightage, around 15% weightage is given to GD plus PI. So if you clear those, just not even high scoring, then also you can get into a PSE. Also the package in PSE is very lucrative as they offer around 8 to 13 lakhs per annum which is at par with the private, topmost private companies in our country. Also, one more benefit is that the seventh pay commission is due soon. So, you can also always expect a high raise in the salary. Then the offer will be a bit more lucrative. Okay. Some of the companies that I can list in PSUs are PowerGrid, NTPC, IOCA. Okay. Other than that, there are many state level industries, also state power plants, also like Odisha Power Generation, or Punjab State Power Corporation Limited that have come under GATE and they are recruiting through GATE. So in future what we can expect is that all state level entrance examination will go away and GATE will be a single most exam through which you can get into the state industries as well as the central government industries. So this was about PSUs. Other than that, so these are the two most well known options MTech and PSU that many of you might already know. But other than that, the options are little bit less known like MS. MS can also be pursued in Indian universities like IITs and all. Otherwise, you can also go for foreign universities like foreign universities like National University of Singapore and Nanyang Technological Universities. These two universities allow Indian grads to show their GATE score for admission instead of GRE or TOEFL score. So GATE score is also applicable in these universities 
just for the Indian students. So you can pursue MS in such prestigious colleges outside India also. Other than that, PhDs nowadays are directly recruited after PTEC. That is, you do not need to go for MTech if you want to go into PhD. And in case you pursue PhD program from IITs or other prestigious institute, then you have a wide arena of opportunities in which you can go abroad for research opportunities, you can go to a foreign university, or you can be admitted into a topmost industry in outside India. Like many industries, Intel, Qualcomm, all those have branches outside India. So you can pursue research work there. And they are doing cutting edge research in the technological field so that you can be rest assured about your future and the work opportunities there. So PhD is also a lucrative program. Also, it will be offering a stipend of around 25,000 so that you can cover your basic expenses along with your studies. Okay. Next is FPM program. This FPM is a fellowship program in management that is conducted in all IIMs and it allows you to publish your grade score for admission. Okay. So in this FPM, it is a doctoral program in management where you will be studying along with the research work. After that, leading banks and industries will be recruiting you to the IIMs. Though it is a bit longer program than the MBA, but the results are any day fruitful. There, the boarding and lodging will be provided free of cost to you and you will be provided with a handsome stipend to cover your experience, expenses so that you don't have to earn outside of your studies to cover your expenses. So this is also a very lucrative program if you are willing to put three or four years of effort in your career. Next is MBA. Many institutes like NIT IE are offering MBA through the gate so that you can also go for MBA, though it is a very less known opportunity after gate as many of us think only MTech or the technical course is open up after gate. But this is a management course that is being opened up after the gate examination. So you can switch the field to the business gate if you are not much interested in the technical field. But still, once you have to appear for gate and show your technical skills. Other than that, for te teaching in colleges, you need gate score. The 75 percentile in gate is required to be admitted in a good college as a faculty. So you need to give gate after the graduation. Other than that, for undergrads, the best opportunity is that many private core companies may be coming to recruit you, like Intel, Qualcomm, all those companies. And when these companies are recruiting, they are basically testing your technical skills. And if you are if you have given gate, a gate score will reflect good on your resume. And also it will be a benchmark that you have a good technical knowledge and expertise. So you do not need to show your technical expertise because gate is kind of certificate that is given to you that you are good at the technical knowledge. And if you are prepared well for gate, you can track interviews of the private industries because they will be asking technical questions and you will be well acquainted with them. So guys, I will suggest that after graduation, you must appear for gate once because it is only testing the knowledge that you have attained in your undergraduate years but a wider arena of opportunities is available if you perform well in grade. So not much effort is required if you perform well during your undergrad years and after that you have a lot of opportunities to get around. So guys, it is my recommendation that go for grade no matter what.